What's up, guys? Tony Snuff here, meaning I am Tony, and all of this is Snuff. That's right, I bring the Snuff reviews to you, so get up off your porn oven spank wire, you sick, sick bastards. Let go of your rock-hard junk and whip out your Snuff, and let's get to sniffing the stuff. Today, uh, we are going back to India with another Dalakia stuff from the Christmas package, Dalakia Blueberry Mint. As you can see, just like the, where did he go? The Rose Chocolate, this one... This one and also the plum cake all came in the same Christmas package. Um, so if you want to grab a hold of some of these, definitely check it out. Chocolate rose, blueberry mint, and plum cake all come in the same package. It comes in a little box. And as far as I know, it's the only Delacchia snuffs that come in a tap box. So I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of tap boxes, but I definitely take the tap box over these shitty plastic containers here. Um, at least the tap boxes keep it a little bit fresh and they don't come apart in your pocket. Let me get comfortable here. So, Delacchia Blueberry Mint Snuff. Again, um, it comes in the top box. Very nice little top box. And the top of it just clips back like that. Um, which is really cool because a lot of the other top boxes that I've used, it doesn't just snap into place. It's real hard to get back in there. Like, um, like with the Galwith Cola. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get it to stay. You have to, like, force that son of a bitch down, and it still pops up. Even if you force it down, it still pops up. So, um, they actually, I really like the top boxes that Delacchia has been using. Um, so they need to keep that shit up. They need to transfer all their shitty containers into top boxes or a real damn container. So, right out of the top box, let's see what kind of smell we get. Oh. Right out of the top box, you get a straight blueberry smell. Now, I'm going to compare it to Toke Blueberry right now. Um, Toke Blueberry is more of an earthy blueberry scent, and this is more of the berry blueberry scent. Like if you squished a blueberry between your fingers, that's the smell that you get right out of the top box. And you get a tiny bit of mint. Um, it's not like a menthol, but it's almost like a, uh, like a candy cane mint is what I get out of the top box. So without further ado, let's mix it up a little bit with the spoon and get a couple of spoonfuls out of. Oh, I can't because I didn't do the most damn important part of it. The color and consistency. What kind of a douchebag am I? Alright, as you can see, it's a dark brown in color. Dark brown, oh, there we go. Dark brown color. And the moisture level. Actually, you can see it better on, on the top box. The moisture level is... It's a uh, it's a medium moisture it's a medium moist moisture as you see it just straight like watch this I'm just gonna do it right here right here nothing on my finger and I'm gonna go boop and as you can see it's all over the damn place so a medium moist moisture all right now let's get into here woo has a little bit of a burn to it. All right, so whenever it first gets in your nose, of course, you get that very, very strong blueberry scent to it. If you've ever had the little blueberry uh, candy cane type things, that's exactly the smell you get. Um, it's going to burn a pretty damn good burn as soon as it gets in your nose, which I love a burn, a good burn. Not like an STD burn, but a good snuff burn. As you see, I'm going for around like two or three, whatever round it is right here. So um, you get a real good um, burn in it. It has a very good nicotine level. The smell lasts for a good, you know, 5-10 minutes. If you go outside, it'll last for a good 10 or 15 minutes. You do get a bit of a forward drip with this, um, but of course, with all mint snuffs or mentholated snuffs or anything, any kind of mint that gives it a cool smell, you're going to get a little bit of a forward drip. I've never gotten too much of a back drip. Um, I have inhaled it too strongly, and it went straight to the back of my throat. But even then, it doesn't taste horrible if that happens. Um, so not a bad stuff at all. I really, I'm not going to lie, I enjoy this entire Christmas package. The, uh, the rose chocolate, love it. The blueberry mint, love it. And the plum cake, I fucking love it. So if you're looking for a really, really good Indian snuff little package, go with the Christmas snuff um, package. MrSnuff.com still has a couple in stock. 
So jump on that shit and get it. Um, it's not that expensive, and it has three really freaking good quality snuffs. The only thing is they're 8-gram tap boxes. They're not 10-gram tap boxes or 8-gram. I don't know if all of them are 8-gram. I think so. No. It's weird. They're the same damn size. See? Same size all around. But Galwith is 10 gram, and these are 8 gram. So I guess uh, Delakia is get, does get a little cheap with it and leaves you 2 gram out. But um, they're all real good snuffs. I really enjoy this one. Um, I really like the blueberry snuffs. Um, I'm going to have to find some more. So if you guys know of any blueberry snuffs that you would like me to try that are pretty damn good or that you didn't really care for, let us all know in the comment section below, and next time I make an order, I'll definitely jump on that. And guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope you guys liked my review on, um, on Delakia Blueberry Mint Snuff. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down here next to my boobies. And leave me a comment if you know of any other blueberry snuffs besides Togue Blueberry and the Delakia Blueberry that you want me to try. Guys, thanks for coming back to my channel, and hopefully Saturday gets here quicker than ever because I'm having one hell of a work week. So, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you all on Saturday. Later.